Juba, what do you think of that announcement yesterday by President Obama? What do I think about the announcement by President Obama? Well, I think that uh, I'm, uh, I'm a little tired of uh, uh, most of what I, my experience of white gay folks uh, expecting him to be Chocolate Jesus uh, Superman and the racism that is attendant uh, to the way people behave and that they are behaving about this. So like, this is me being a queer, polyamorous, freak, godless heathen. Uh, make sure you understand that at the same time that he didn't say, you know, hey, we having the St. Andrew's Cross and we're going to have a big play party, that that was still a hugely important announcement for you motherfuckers. It's a sitting motherfucking president that said this shit out loud. When you talking about 25 years ago that you had a president who wouldn't say AIDS, you know, so it's like it's about con contextual understanding. Sorry, you know, that he's not, you know, John the Revelator and coming to save you, but it's a huge, uh, huge thing in any instance. And this is somebody who's not, you know, a, a marriage shill, so to speak, coming from me. That's what that's why I'm about. And it. since he made that statement, or since the word got out that he was about to make it, um, what has the reaction sort of been like, or the dialogue that you've had with people that uh, you're in touch with on, you know, the daily, the last couple of it days? It depends. I mean, it depends on where people are about it. People are like, you know, so what? He didn't do that or die. It's like, you know what? Stop one. Stop forgetting that he's a politician. He's the president. He ain't the president of queer America. He ain't the president of black America. He ain't the president of furry or Star Trek America or whatever. He's the president of the United States. And, you know, you kind of take what you get. That ain't saying don't critique him. That's not saying don't hold him accountable out all this extra legal government shit and torture and all that. They ain't saying don't say shit about that shit. But it's like understand it all in context. And, you know, and for me, it's like if I have, if, you know, I got to choose between John McCain in 2008 and what we got now. You know, that's that's just kind of where I am about it. I don't like all of it, no. But it's like, it's 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 better. It, I'm I'm terrible. I'm frightened about what could have been and what could be. So you know, you just take you know, take what you can you know take 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 of it what you like and do what you can do with it and be positive. And be yeah, and be positive. It's like like what could this that means something to somebody. This means some that meant something for somebody. Not just about a policy wise about whether you get to get married or not. But think of, but what that means to hear. Uh, colored man president of the United States say that out loud what that meant for you know a, a, a young queer to hear that out loud you know yeah. and for you not even be queer but to say that out loud what that's gonna what that means historically you know yeah. so that's where I'm taking that's why I'm about it okay thank you so much man appreciate well, it